Hi everyone. Today I will show you how we can apply or modify insulation to the pipe in a VY 3D. And I will show you first how we can know the insulation from the PNID. We have this PNID and you can see that the last digits are showing the insulation spec and this insulation spec you have to select from your VY3D insulation spec here. In the PNID some lines are insulation some are not so we have to check and apply insulation only those lines in which insulations are showing here. So for creating or applying insulation you have to go to the pipe level here and after that you should be in the piping always and then you have to click on pipe and after that you have to select modify and pipe when you select the pipe modify and you can see that the pipe editor modification about dialog box is open here in the side and you can see the parameters bore and everything and here you have to click on the pipe and you can see that the design parameters are showing here of this pipe and here you can see the pipe specification here and these pipe specification may be different in your VY3D because it's totally depend upon the PDMS administrator and the project team which spec you have to apply and here you can see that insulation showing none it means there is a no insulation so we can verify this one here you have to click on pi and type here qi spec and you can see it's showing null ref same way we will check on the branch level it's showing null ref here and same way we will check on the component level also and in 3 all showing null ref you have to click on pipe here and here you have to select the insulation and I will choose here 100 mm then I will apply now the insulation is applied into the pipe how we can verify you can type q i spec here you can see that previously it was null ref and now showing 100 mm same way we will check in the branch level and in the component level as well and you can how we can see the insulation in the e3d so for that you have to click on graphics and here you have to uh, sorry you have to click on view and click on graphics here and here you have to click on representation and you can see here the insulation is showing off so let's say i will click the transparency 12 percent and i will apply here Uh, you can see that now the insulation is showing in the E3D. So in this way we can apply or modify insulation in a VY3D and we can see in the model also visible. And same way if you want to apply the insulation to the equipment here and you can see that this is the equipment and this equipment have also the insulation 40 mm thick this insulation maybe when you will work on maybe different insulation thickness maybe 60 80 or 100 ml it's purely depend upon your process data same way we will check here qi spec and it is showing null ref and sub equipment level also showing null ref click here and we will give 40 mil this one 
we will check here qi spec is showing 40 ml so we apply the insulation to the equipment and same way you can apply to the sub equipment level also and how insulation showing in the isometric because ultimately we have to produce isometric so you have to click here pipe level click on piping here and click on pipe isometric here you can see that we just now extract the isometric and this insulation is showing in the dotted line if we are applying both heat facing and insulation then these two lines will be different one will show the heat facing and one will show the insulation maybe there will be a different line line representation maybe this line uh, dash then dot dash so this is purely defined by the pdms administrator so in this way we can apply insulation into vio 3d if you want to off the insulation you have to go to view again graphics and make this one off and apply so now you cannot see the insulation so in this way we can apply the insulation in vio 3d if you have any comment related to this one please comment in the comment box